Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, a.k.a. Projo, and this is going to be a preview to our Lehigh Valley Phantoms at 15-4-3, going up against those Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins at 8-11-5. This is a Pennsylvania Cup game, where right now, as I'm waiting for it to load here, in the standings, our Phantoms lead by a small margin win percentage over the Hershey Bears, where the Penguins are all the way down there at 4 Six and three with a four two three win percentage. The Bears are at a six twenty five and the Phantoms are at a six fifty four. So this is still a big game. You want to win to keep moving up and moving up that win percentage in the Pennsylvania Cup standing. So this is still a huge game for the Phantoms. Um, this year in this season, not by an easy doing, but our Phantoms are three one and one against the Wilkes Barre Penguins before those five encounters. Um, did require overtime, but the Phantoms in their last nine are also 7-1-1. One, and one. Obviously, part of that was interrupted play, but in their last nine games played are 7-1-1, one, and one, so they've been playing very good hockey. Cal O'Reilly was able to reach his 500 assists. Actually, shorthanded him there in the last video. He's only the 10th person to do that, not the 16th. I was thinking of his career year. He's going into his 16th year next year, but he's the fit, or the 10th person to do that. And he's a 15-year pro this year that's been a captain of multiple franchises as well. So congratulations to him yet again. He has a chance to also pass Bill Sweeney um, for top 9 in assists because he's only at 5'10". That's only 10 away. And if he plays for a good bit longer, he could even get past Jody Gong. Or Jody Gag, I guess is how you say that, G-A-G-E, who's at 544, which is only 44 more assists for Cal. That would depend how much longer he wants to play in his 30s now, but it's definitely a big congratulations to him. Pascal LeBurge, last game, scored just 10 seconds into the game, which was a record for Lehigh Valley and in an overall organization's second time again, remember him, for Anirondack, scored 9 seconds into a game against the Portland Pirates uh, years ago, back in 2013. That's the record, but... I look for LeBurge to continue to do well. He just needs to stay healthy. As long as Pascal LeBurge is healthy, when I was covering the game for Flyers Nitty Gritty, definitely follow them as well as here. Sports Fanatic News, really trying to get the subscribers up, please. We appreciate your support there and at Flyers Nitty Gritty. LeBurge is a guy that just needs to stay healthy. He came out like a bat out of hell when he played his first couple games of the year when I was watching him cover him for Nitty Gritty. And then he went down again, and then now he has an opportunity because guys are on the taxi squad or playing for the Flyers, and he took advantage of that with an assist and a goal last game. I look for him to continue to have success. Um, a big thing also coming into this game is if you look at the last few results as we review um, the results of the other games leading up to this, um, here we go, we have the Phantoms again are 3-1-1 one, one against Wilkes-Barre. They unfortunately lost 2-4 to four, uh, the first game of February 26. They actually lost the first two games against them, which were goals for Wisdom and Willman in that game. Um, and then they lost in OT. Um, at Lehigh Valley on the 27th in back-to-back -back games, um, which were two goals by Max, and then the winner for Wilkes-Barre to Frederick Goudreau in that one. But then they won the next three, two OT wins and one shootout win, where the OT win was the uh, Ryan Fitzgerald on the 8th, his great uh, overtime goal. He's able to score that. He's having a hell of a season, unfortunately banged up, but uh, having a hell of a season. Tanner Luzinski, uh first two pro goals were in the other game that they were able to win in overtime. And Allison and Forster had goals on the 21st there at Lehigh Valley. And then more recently, on April 3rd, before the shutdown for our club, Tyson Forster had two goals and the shootout winner in that shootout win. Over Wilkes-Barre. So this is a big game for the Pennsylvania Cup. Our Phantoms are trying to come in and stay hot. You're trying to see Forster and others, Cal O'Reilly, stay hot, who's doing really well of late um, and has got to his 500th assist total. And I'm also looking for Pascal LeBurge again, who had a hell of a game last game, now having an opportunity to play again due to guys being out of the lineup. I'm definitely looking for him to have some success and continue to have some success in the lineup. And then, obviously, you're looking for Max Willman to sign the two-way contract. Uh, he just continues to impress. He just continues to have guys draw, penalty, draw penalties for the team and commit penalties on him, and that's just great to see. He's a guy that becomes a pest for the other team, and that's always good to have on your team. I love to see that, so I definitely am looking for him 
And then, of course, you definitely want to see what Ratcliffe's able to do. He's looked very good in the last handful of games as well to round out the season. You're trying to see how these prospects really perform the young guys that we think have a chance to be in training camp and maybe some of them uh, crack the Flyers roster. Um, they're definitely looking good down there. LeBurge is looking good. Hopefully he'll have a great end and round out to the season, which I think he's capable of doing. And then Bunny looks pretty solid since playing down there. And then just as a guy for the Phantoms, again, really battle for his career, career ECHL. We're now looking good in the AHL. It's nice to see Ralph Kudiemi have some success. But this has been the preview <clears throat> to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms versus Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. This is a big game for the Pennsylvania Cup as the fans are trying to increase their win percentage. They're in first place by a small tilt like I brought up at the beginning of the video over Hershey right now. So let's move that up by winning a game again tonight. I Also, I forgot to mention Logan Day, one of my favorite defensemen down there that they kept for another year on an AHL contract. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a two-way, if he plays as good as he is this year, next year as well. But He's doing really well. I look for him to continue to have some keen success as well. Plus, as Millman and Hogberg are doing well, as young guys as well, Hogberg, uh, Alice Apple, y'all brought up to could maybe potentially see some time. We'll see. He's played... Uh, well enough to maybe see a cup of coffee. He still has rawness to his game. He's not going to, I don't think, make the team of the Kraken next year, but it's always good to get a cup of coffee because then those players learn and grow and know what they have to do to be able to make it to the full NHL level and not just know what they have to do in the offseason to be able to get better in the AHL level. So I think it's good to know both of those things. That's why I could see other guys coming up. But it's also good just to see Forster, LeBurge, um, if Kosh is able to come back from injury, um, guys like him, of course, and then, of course, Max Willman, Mason Millman, and others just continue to have success down there. Um, Trewinsky, when he's down there, of course, it's good to see guys that might be able to be a part of the team, and Cam York, who's looking very good in his first handful of games here, to have success down there for coming into next year. But this has been a Lehigh Valley Phantoms versus Wilsbury Scranton Penguins preview. I believe the Phantoms should be able to win this game. It looks like Felix Sandstrom's going to start tonight. He's coming off of that great 37 save performance, so look for him to have a good big game again. But everyone have a great day and pleasant night. Enjoy the Phantoms hockey, and peace out, everybody.